a love run and welcome back to Orfrost. So we're on planet Zepho doing the derelict hangar is where we're at the moment just trying to get all the stim canisters from planet Zepho. So Zepho actually has the most stim canisters. It's got four of them on here so in, com in comparison to like Kashyyyk and Daphomir which I think only have one and then bagano has got two and BD1 starts with two himself totaling in ten. So your key markers just as Zorak said there when I'm looking around you've got the rockfall which is the route you're meant to go around after you encounter the second set of rep looking things apologies I can't remember their official name uh, just to the side of them rocks is a waterfall and if you look a bit more right there's a sort of cave entrance as you saw me jump through and just jump from side to side and you'll come down the cave Make sure you use a lightsaber, BD one's not quite bright enough for this actual cave, this is the darkest cave I found in Fallen Order so far. If you just keep working your way around with the lightsaber you'll eventually lead yourself up to where the stim canister is and increasing your stim canister count to 5 if you've already got the 2 from Bagano and you've not got any of the others. This is again collecting them from planet to planet in order that the story takes you so um, well kind of at least because after Zepho you go to Kishiko and back to Zepho but it is your second visit to Zepho and you can't actually do the bit on Kishik, um until your second visit so it kind of works in the, the way of the order of the story at least so I tried working out to get this to this one on the map I couldn't really highlight it properly so it's basically in the Imperial dig site you need the force pull ability or if you're coming in from the other side you need the double jump and force pull ability um, and it, by the time you've got force pull I'm pretty sure BD1 has his uh, heading up the zip line upgrade but if you're coming from the original entrance of the um, Imperial dig site if you kind of just head across and do where the wall run is jump across that bridge and just keep heading round there's like another place you can use a force pull and grab a rope and that's where you want to head so you can grab this rope get a bit of momentum, jump up and BD1 should grab, uh, clip on and if you just head up this pathway here round to the left you'll have the stim canister I'm just going to show you quickly where the other route is as well to get the same stim canister but it does flag up to the ice caves rather than the dig site here because that's what you're closer to and you can access it from the ice caves which I'm going to show you so you pass this into BD1 then as we move on you're just going to use these ropes here to get across to the ice caves but obviously on your end you'll be doing it from the other side if you want to use this entrance although it is a good shortcut if uh, you want it to come back around the place so I'm just going to get this guy killed and then join you second on the map like so so in the ice caves this is where you originally enter them you come down you get your safe point there you head to the left and you fight what I've just killed I can't think of its name me uh, terminology has gone a bit today and you just got them two ropes to the side of it then so if you just head off there's the kind of like entrance you bust out of there head round to the left or keep heading along that path even keeping that to your left and then you just double jump up to that and then you grab use the force pull and then jump across force pull again and then jump across right just going further on this we are back in the Imperial dig site but this one's a little bit trickier so you kinda need to have unlocked a bit of this area but basically above where that platform is there's um, a little ledge on like a um, don't know how to describe it really but basically what we're heading up to here so you want to let go of it early um, you can jump back like I do here it'd be better if you land on it perfectly just for your own good and you need the force pull that's no, a force pull off, force push, I use force push just to get through the door here you come inside there's an echo and just to the side of that there is the stim canister which you're after so it's in a bit of a trickier spot because it's not something you'd normally um, explore or sort of, sort of look at unless you knew it was there well, that should just increase your stim canister total so that should put us to 7 now I believe and that'll just bring us on to the last one on planet Zephyr so I'm just gonna head up from the original entrance of the Imperial dig site here that is where it is up there 
I'm just going to need to run around and show you how to get there because it's a bit tricky. Um, I'm not going to run you through the full thing. So if you just basically head around to um, sort of the broken crash site, which got all those ships and sort of circular dome in the middle, which gave me sort of a Death Star feel to it. It's actually um, an Imperial ship, I believe, that's crashed. Um, jump up and head across. Ah, here we are. So you see, yes, the crash site is the location. So you head up from the circular location rather than going left, you head straight up and into this big section here. You'll head down um, like an ice strip. And there's only uh, one entrance and one exit to this, to my knowledge. And once you're heading around to the exit, you'll fight. Um, I can really need to learn the names of him. <laughs> I can't think of his name. There's a false echo there. There's a couple of chests about the place. And if you just head outside, you'll be on top of the cliff. And this is the exit to it. Where you can then drop down, get the stim canister, and that's the fourth and final stim canister on planet Zephyr. There we go. You give in BD1 now a total of eight, and then we can line up for the Kashyyyk uh, video and then the Daphne video afterwards, totaling us in ten. Do please enjoy, like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate any feedback, and thank you very much for watching.